food and weight obsession can be exhausting. Losing weight, gaining weight, dieting, feeling like a failure because you missed the gym, binged, overate, or gained all the weight back. The cycle is endless and it can be maddening. But I am here to say you can stop the madness. You can take back control over your food behaviors, but you have to get support and you have to make a change. I am Leslie M. Thornton, Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss coach from WeightLossAlbany.com. This is Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss, and I know you can make this change. On this podcast, you will hear about how to stop the mental madness, how to love your body, trust your food decisions, and take back control of food so you can create a life of happiness, freedom, and inner peace. Today's episode is called Eating Over Anger. Now, I have to start this episode out, first of all, by saying that not all, but the vast majority of my Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss clients that I talk to about their relationship with anger almost always respond with, oh, I barely ever feel angry, or I never feel angry. And if that is you, I am here to call major BS on that. And even if you are aware of your anger, I would assert that there's probably much, much more that can be tapped into. Now, I will say that I can definitely appreciate the lack of awareness of anger that people may have. I used to say that I had no anger too. But once I actually became aware of the fact that absolutely every human being experiences the emotion of anger, and if you're listening to this podcast, I can almost absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, say that you're eating over that emotion of anger and even self-hatred. Sounds bad, but it's so true. You get off the phone with mom or dad or have an argument with your husband or significant other, your boss was unhappy at work, or even you yourself fall off your diet or exercise plan. You feel the anger, resentment, self-hatred, and you eat to numb out that pain. It's so innocent. So many of us are taught as children not to be angry, and we learn to cope by numbing with food. But in my experience, not expressing this emotion in a healthy way can and will eventually break you and is what leaves you emotionally overeating or binging for days and weeks, sometimes even months and years on end. And we can't have that anymore. Of course, there may also be those of you who immediately have to work out when you feel anger. Maybe you don't even know it's anger, but you feel that impulse and you have to run or else you feel anxious and maybe even lose your, you know what, at people until you go on your run. Now, what's wrong with running to release anger, you may ask. And the answer is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Running or working out is obviously a healthier outlet than many other ways. But what we want to change is the reality that right now, your emotions run you. And what we want to do is help you master and get into a place where you run your emotions. So you can finally be free from that prison of feeling totally and completely out of control of yourself at times. I've also had clients who feel and have been unable to work out. They need back surgery or there's something else that causes them not to be able to work out at the gym anymore. Who knows what could happen to get in the way of your normal routine and being able to control that feeling that you're having. And obviously one day all of us are going to get old and die and not be able to work out, right? So then what are you going to do about these crazy feelings and emotions then? What are you then left having to face? The bottom line is that those emotions are always going to come back to haunt you. And those emotions cause you pain, pain that causes you to overeat and binge over and over again. You have to learn how to stop that cycle and process that emotion no matter what part of your path you're on and what you're capable of so that it lasts. That's what makes this form of weight loss permanent. You are getting it from the foundational level of where it's starting up. And you get to take back control of how you're feeling in any given moment. So how do you do that? This is where the hypnosis and subconscious mind modalities come in. I have spent years doing psychosomatic work on myself and hundreds of clients going into the body, kind of like a deep meditation, and releasing the emotion from a deep subconscious level. 
The reality is the body doesn't lie and whatever emotions get stuck within us are here to help us. It's amazing the things that come up when clients go there. I believe that we are all on a path of healing on this planet. And I also believe that there is no other way but through. To find out more about my programs and how you can begin to work through your emotions so that you can be free from food prison forever, email me at coachmelesley at gmail.com. Tell me that you want to learn to process your emotions so that you can be free from food prison. I'll ask you a few questions, see if you're ready, and we can go from there. If you're not ready, I can let you know that too. And to continue receiving these Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss podcast episodes, email me at coachmelesley.com and I'll be sure you receive each episode that comes out daily during this month of April leading up to my official podcast launch date to Apple Podcasts on May 1st, 2020. Talk soon.